Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 665. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my College Website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 661 to 671. Hey, all the videos in this workbook 661 to 671 are all about the aggregate function. If you download it, we have some great notes. This is a new function in Excel 2010. Totally amazing. It adds um, to the subtotal. Subtotal function only has 11 functions. Aggregate has 19. 14 to 19 can handle arrays. 13 to 1 cannot handle arrays. And uh, these two new functions in particular are quite nice because median mode are common calculations. In addition, we can tell the aggregate function, unlike the subtotal, we can say, hey, ignore hidden rows or errors or both or even nested subtotals. Now, we've seen examples of all of these. We're out here on uh, video 665. And in this one, we want to see how uh, aggregate and subtotal do similar things with filter data. Now, this is great. A filter, if you don't. If your data set isn't filter, you control shift L to add drop downs at the top, or you go to data and uh, the, click on the filter button. And then you just have these great filters. We can filter, it's kind of off to the screen here. And I can't get this, but there's a 2010. If I go like this. I can say, hey, show me just 2009 data. Or you could actually open it up. It's just awesome and show whatever days you want. But we want all of 2009, so we'll show that. Sure enough, all the, da the data is filtered. And same here, we could uh, say select just chin and galt. Right? So filtering is super easy. You don't have to you know, make a big formula for uh, whatever calculation you're doing. But now we do want to do calculations on this data. Now there's always been at the bottom, you can add a totals row and have the subtotal function. Subtotal function 9, just like aggregate, uh, means sum. And then we're summing the range. That way, this subtotal function will um, ignore any filtered values. I'm going to click Escape. That was the sum. I want to add using the aggregate. So aggregate. Again, it's nice because it has more functions than the subtotal. I'm going to do the same calculation, 9, comma, and these new options. Totally amazing. In this case, I'm just going to say ignore hidden rows, comma, and then the range. The range, I'm going to click there, Control shift down arrow, and then Enter. So the total on that is incorrect, because that should be only to 6. You see what I did there? I control shift down arrow, and I included the total. Don't want to do that. Now, if I bring that subtotal function up here, you can see you get the same exact answer. Again, the advantage of the aggregate is there's a lot more functions, and you have a lot more options. We saw the awesome use of. Uh, 6 here. 6 will um, ignore error values, or 7 ignore hidden rows and error values. Now I'm going to click Escape. I'm just going to leave that there. Um, equals aggregate. We're going to use one of these functions. The median, totally awesome uh, uh, function there. And we're going to ignore hidden rows. This is just not available with the subtotal. All right, so sure enough, looks like it works on filter data. If I unselect all, I just want to see the calculations, median, and totals for this filtered data set. That will do it. Anytime you change the filter, these will update. All right, when you come back, uh, 666 to 671 are going to be a bunch of cool array formulas using aggregate. You will not believe it. It's just amazing. All right, we'll see you next trick.